Rated T for teen. It is about wonder. It is about epic worlds. It is about heroism. All of these things kind of make Halo what it is. Some of them are small minutia and some of them are big things. And then you have these characters that people will never forget. We've got this big galaxy spanning story. Oh, there's these attacks that are happening on colonies. Somebody stop it, somebody save the day. But at the heart of it is the story of these two families and these two things that they want. There's definitely a human drama at the core of that, both with Chief and Blue Team and Locke and Osiris and kind of the mission that they've been sent on and how these two teams relate to each other as they cross paths. So you'll actually be playing as our new Spartan, Spartan Locke, as well as Master Chief and Blue Team. Locke's job was to find the unfindable. He's gonna go try to capture the hero of the story. We wanted somebody who had a very distinct contrast to the Master Chief. We want this whole game to support four-player co-op. Even when people don't have a co-op partner to play with, we're putting the extra Spartans in there. You can command your Spartan team. Take that card. They're there with you every step of the way. You see this too. We have deliberately put ourselves in a world that isn't black and white. It's not fully understood that there are simple good guys and simple bad guys. One character has been always looked at as the hero, and the other character has always operated under the radar, but is now coming to light. They're kind of like two different sides of the same coin, and we're turning the coin during the course of Halo 5. As a player who's there to just play a great action experience, you've got that, but you've also got this more personal story. Get the Xbox One Limited Edition Bundle.